morning. We are seeing warmer temperatures in fall and winter across northeast Wisconsin, and this is expanding the blue green algae bloom season in our lakes and rivers. New Waters Love Your Watershed initiative highlights some things you can do at home this time of the year that could help. Blue green algae blooms in warm, calm waters. We are seeing it more and more in Lake Winnebago, the Fox River, and in the Bay of Green Bay later in the year. It poses a public health risk. These blue green algae blooms at the end of the season, when they die, they actually release neuro and liver toxins. And so if you're exposed to them either through physical contact or even sometimes breathing, you can really have some negative reactions. It can cause rashes, stomach issues, and it can even be fatal if your pet drinks it. If the water's green, bright green, some of the, the more severe blooms will look like paint, like teal paint or green paint or even white sometimes. It can be foamy. Uh, those are definitely water you want to stay out of. The main cause is excess nutrients coming down from agricultural areas. When the blooms die, they sink to the bottom of the bay, creating negative impacts on our natural habitats. We have a dead zone every year in the Bay of Green Bay because we have these large blooms happening and then really consuming all the oxygen. There are ways we can help. And this truly is a treasure to have Green Bay and just to have all of this natural fresh water around us. And it serves a purpose there. You know, we it serves us for drinking water. It serves us for our um, industry. It's a part of who we are. There's a great responsibility then in that and taking care of that and trying to make that resource last. That's where the hashtag love your watershed comes into play. Part of our efforts in trying to improve water quality in our Northeast region is really about, you know, trying to bring this community together. Coming up on Thanksgiving, New Water is reminding folks to avoid putting fog down the drain. That is fat, oils, and grease. Once snow and freezing rain comes our way, salt will be entering the equation. Use the appropriate amount. You can also adopt a storm drain and clear the drain of any leaves or debris. Those storm drains drain our roadways and our neighborhoods directly to our local rivers and streams. And so um, none of that water is actually treated. And if everyone does their part, we could start making an effect on a larger scale. And some other things you can do to love your watershed, pick up after your pet's waste, rake up leaves in your yard and use a rain barrel to collect rainwater from rain gutters to water your plants or gardens. And don't flush your medications down the toilet.